So just pull your, and your familiars are going to go back to your bench at the end of every round. So after scoring, so say we went through this and this was all done, and like say you won this field and this field, you would see this like star here that has zero in it. Like this is what you would, you know, you'd give yourself points or whatever. Um, and then you would pull your familiars back to your field and they get redeployed every turn. And they, if they have any negative counters on them, they lose them at the end of every round. Okay. Um, all right. So do you have seven cards in your hand? Yep. Seven. Okay. I'm going to reshuffle this. Okay. And then, um, do you want to play with the purple and gold or do you want to be, oh, looks like you just went offline. Oh, did you get, yeah, well, I see it. I see it. Um, bad connection. Yo, pause the video at this point. Back online. All right. Yeah. Um, I'll stick with the purple gold. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can talk about um the styles too, right? So, ferocity is going to um, it's going to be like powerful. It's going to be fast. They're they're typically like, um, think of it like, aggro or rush. Like they typically are going to be higher power, higher curve. But they're going to cost you something. Like maybe you have to sacrifice one of your creatures. Maybe or not sacrifice, but maybe you have to KO one of your creatures. Uh, maybe you have to discard a card from your hand or off the top of your library. Um, your deck. And then tactics is going to be. I mean, it's right in the name, right? So it's going to be like a lot of movement. Like they're going to let you move cards from like field to field, or they're going to. Uh, let you return cards, opponent's cards back to their hand, or even your own, like depending on if you want to return cards back to your hand or the deck, or um, maybe they have conditional KO, like if somebody just played a card, you can then KO it. Um, might is going to, is all about, like it's in the name, it's all about power. It's all about having big creatures. Might and then red. special... Hmm? Is might red? Might is green. Okay. Might is green. And then special is typically the lowest printed power on the cards, but they have a lot of special effects that they do. Like maybe they are going to put negative counters on your creature, or maybe they're going to let you draw more cards, or maybe they're going to let you like ramp up your resources faster um, or draw more cards. So it's um, very, uh, I'm not going to say support, but it's um, you, you're not going to be you're not going to just be winning fields off the printed power in special. Cool. All right. Sounds good. All right, so we start off by... So since you the have the lowest printed power in your familiars, you get to look through... Uh, I think these are your... Oh, no. They're stuck together. Okay, here we go. Right, so it looks like these are your fields and these were mine. So you could look through these fields, and if there's a field you don't like, then you can get rid of it. So if you get rid of one of mine, I will end up going first, and I will draw an extra card. Um... Get rid of Let's get rid of this one. Okay. So you're getting rid of your field, so that's gonna go into the reserve. Yep. And then two. Yeah, so since you did that, you will get to draw an extra card and you will place your familiar first. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these up. All right. 
so then go ahead and draw your extra card and then place um, one of your familiars to any one of these three fields. Okay. And moving to is different than getting placed there, right? Correct. Yep. Okay. So if you like, um, just to show you a really quick way to have that like trigger. Um, so if you look at your inspiration card, okay. after you place your familiar, you don't have to do it right now. Okay. Let me flip this card face uh, down to move a friendly creature. Nice. Yeah. So you can do that once a game. Okay. And that would count. Like that would count as like a move. Okay. It's like an action. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. And uh, how many points wins the game? Uh, twenty. But you don't win as soon as you hit twenty. It's once the round ends. If you have more than twenty, you win the game. But if, say, you had twenty two and I had twenty one, like we both have more than twenty, but you would still win because you had one more point than I did. Okay, just at the end of the round. Correct. Okay, cool. All right, I'll place one. All right, I'm going to place... Uh, place my fair tune here. So this has debut... Oh, wait, does this yours have a debut effect? Oh, yeah, so you are winning the field when you place that in for an ander there. So that's what these tokens... I'm going to give you a token here. And then we're going to give you... Plus one, power. plus one, plus one power. Yeah. And then this one has a debut. Look at top card of your deck. Um, so I get a seek one. And then you can go ahead and place your second familiar on a field. In the field, is it uh, my side and your side, or just your side? You can only place creatures on your side, and I can only place creatures on my side. But the field counts. So, like, field one is both feet, like both your side and my side counts as field one. Okay. Uh, oh, that sucks. All right, well, I guess we'll go here. All right, so this guy's debut, give an opposing creature in this field, minus one, and you may move a friendly ally in this field. All right. And uh, familiars are, can be allies, right? No, allies, um, allies will say ally on the top. Here, let me show you. So, like, this card here, that says ally on the top. Gotcha. Yeah, so if you put him there in the middle, right, then mine will get negative one here, so. Okay. And then, uh, I'm going to go ahead and place my last creature there. Okay, now the, 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 um, the familiars, they move back, but the creatures, the allies, they stay on the field between rounds. Correct. Okay. So block is typically represented as um, having the card like tapped or exhausted looking. Um, so block is just going to uh, cancel the next opposing effect. So if you try to put a negative one counter like you just did with like the evolution on him, he would revert to looking like normal and he wouldn't have a negative counter on. Cool. All right. So back to my action. Yep. So all the familiars are placed. 
So what we're going to do then is we're going to go ahead and flip a judge's card. So I'll go ahead and draw one. So it looks like we got this one. So it looks like field two is inactive this round. Boom. Sucks for both of us. Oh, yeah. All right, so then now it's back to you. So you can go ahead and um, place a resource card down. Place a resource card. You know, there's no instance. It's just everything is a uh, sorcery speed, right? Right. Yep. So I can't play any cards on your turn. Just speed would let you play multiple cards in, like, in your during your action. Okay. And uh, when I'm playing oh, and the, the cost. Oh. And I didn't mention it before, but like using this card as an example, like the one in the upper left is its cost. Okay. Yeah, a lot of good options. Uh, all right, we we'll play this guy for resource, and then uh, turn him upside down. Or how does that go? Yep, yep. If he doesn't have support, flip him upside down. Okay. Uh, rotate. And uh, not flip, but rotate upside down, right? Ah, uh, okay, right there. No, it'd be it'd be it would it would look like this. It'd be flipped. It'd be okay, flipped. Okay. Uh, All right. Um. Now I got two to spin, so I will play a. You know the colors. Will the colors come into play too? You've got to have one of purple or one of yellow to play a purple or yellow. No. 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 Okay. Why didn't y'all go with that? No. Uh, well, we just felt like it was... We're already restricting what cards you can put in based on the colors of your familiars. And then further restricting it just... Um, just wasn't something that a design team wanted to do. Okay. All right, I'll play Tortua and tap that guy. Yeah, game block. Any Excellent. type of friendly creature gains with block gains plus one. When a friendly creature loses block, Tortua gains plus two power. Cool. And then go ahead and exhaust your resources. Um, oh, you can do that with Q. Q. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and spend one. I'm going to play Ignice into here. Uh, my, friendly, my friendly familiars get plus one power. Put 
put it back to zero. So then I do want to say like, so there is this initiative token, which you had because you went first. Um, now, if you pass first, you right now you would retain the initiative token, which means then you draw one more. So normally at the, yep, you just draw an initial, an extra card and um, you get to go first again. So at the, at the end of every round or the beginning of like the next round, you draw two cards. So you would, if you retained initiative, you would instead draw three. Cool. All right. So I played this, so it's back to you. Um, you don't really have a whole lot of actions unless you want to flip your, your inspiration card. Hmm. Since you don't have any mana. Uh... Although there are actually... Some colors have ways to play things for free, but I don't know if that's... Mm, I think I'll pay if, and retain okay. the deal. All right, so you you retain the initiative token. Um, I don't really have anything else I can do either, so I'm also going to pass. So you you won field one, so you get four points. Okay. I won field five, so I get five points or three, so I get five points. Your familiars will go back to your bench, and if this if this fairy tune had had a negative counter on it, still it would have lost it. Um, you do retain all of your positive counters, though they don't oh, go away, so nice. they'll they'll stay on forever. Cool. Goes over here. Right. And go ahead and draw three. Oh, on. Um, Unexhaust your resources and then go ahead and draw. Okay, first action. And you've always got to start by putting out familiars, right? Correct, yep. Okay. And, uh, man, what are these judges' cards? There's always the one field is inactive, then. What about the other five? So, there's still seven cards in the deck, and, like, some of them can say all fields are inactive, or the person with the lowest amount of power gets to choose, or maybe the, or maybe the middle field is inactive. So there's, like, a bunch of different ones in there where um, it can change it up, but there isn't going to be another card that specifically says field two is inactive this round. Like this one, like once this is gone, it's, it's gone. Okay. Unless there's a card, there's a card that says like shuffle the judge's deck or something. But typically that's how that works. Okay. Ah, oh, that wouldn't make sense. All right, so debut give an opposing creature in this field, and an ally is a creature, right? Creature, correct. Yep. So Cre this gets a negative one. The creature's ally or familiar, right? Correct. Okay. Move a friendly ally in this field, and you must move the ally in this field. No, and you may move a friendly ally in this field. So. Okay, may, yeah. So, like, had you played the Owlusion over where you have the Tortu, you could have moved him to another field. Okay. That's what that means. Alright, so you placed that there. I'm going to go ahead and place... 
prism here. Okay. Move this guy here. Just got to in a debut. If I'm winning, get plus one power. So cool. I'm gonna go ahead and place this guy here. I'm gonna go ahead and seek one. All right, so now these are placed. Go ahead and place a a resource down. Okay. It is worth noting that you can only have three supports. So if you were to say play a fourth support, you would you would get to determine which support you wanted to flip over. Okay. You know, what's the tame ally? Oh, yeah. So some cards will be tame and some cards will be wild or brave or um, elusive. So there are other cards that exist that will work off of those keywords. So there's, there's a card that might say, like, destroy all wild allies. Or um, if you have an elusive creature... Um, get plus one, or if they're tame, you know, get a victory point or something. So there's, we, we have cards that work off those keywords. Okay. Well, like you'll see here though, the Ferratune says magic, um, magic creatures. So if I had a bunch of magic creatures, I could, I could seek more cards. <laughs> Okay. Oh, got. oh, um, actually, this one had speed, so it doesn't count as an action, right? Oh no, nope. So you just get the support effect, right? And and playing um playing a resource doesn't ever count as an action, anyways. Okay. Um. So how the how these support cards work? So yeah, it's a good point. I should talk about that more. So support cards. They have two, they're basically like two cards in one. So think of them this way. So I could play this Pekera that has support. I could just play it as a card that costs two, has four power, and has an ongoing opposing ally cards cost one more resource to play in this field. And that is what it would do. Or instead, I could play it down on my resource row, and it's going to get the support effect. Okay. Okay, so being that mine, so being that being that mine is a tamer, which is like just a sorcery or something, right? Like yeah. So that says so you're, yeah. That says move a tame ally and give a friendly familiar to give a friendly familiar plus one. So let's see. Do you have any tame allies out? Um, yeah, that guy is tame. You. Yeah, you do. Right. So you could then, when you spend resources to do something else you could then move him to another field, and then you could give one of your familiars one more power. Okay. Cool. But that's only when I spend this resource. That is only when you spend that resource, yep. And then I would have to flip this card, or how does that go? Nope, nope, you can do it every every round. You can use, you can get that benefit every round. The only thing you can only do once per game is the inspiration. Okay, cool. So I believe you have the initiative token, so then you can go ahead and play a card first. Okay, one resource and then, okay, play a card. Yep, so yeah, so putting down a resource doesn't count as an action. Like, everybody gets to do that once, okay. once the new round kind of is in play. 
Oh wait, uh, before we can do anything, I almost missed this. We need to flip the judges oh, deck. Oh, you do. So, there we go, switch it up. Uh, the player with initiative switches a field in play with the reserve field. Then no field is inactive this round. So, since you have initiative, you get to swap any field here that you want out. And then uh, with any field that is currently in play. Oh, uh, where's that judges card? I don't see it. Oh, it's right here. All right, move it in the middle here. Okay. All right, with well, the next field, this is a field in play with the reserve field. And uh, that one is a zero counter. That's supposed to be right. That's right, right? It has no positive or negative modifiers on him. So I just have it on. I can move it off if it's confusing. But yeah, he's not getting any plus or negative power right now. Okay. So it's currently four. I guess I'll move this one with this one. All right. So none of them are inactive, so I'm just going to move this judges. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. It's the same card. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to put that maybe here for now. Okay, so now you can uh, spend your resources and play a card. Okay. So not all of them are active. Okay.
All right. This guy. Okay, spinning one to play a Lattice Seer. You may debut, you may discard a random card from your hand to give an opposing creature in this field minus four attack, minus four power. So, whoa. I'm assuming you're gonna put that on my fair tune. Yep. Okay, and a uh, random, whoa. Uh, and how do you select a random card out of the hand? It's kind of hard in Tabletopia because, like, you know, I can't really see your hand, but why don't you just go ahead and discard, like, the third card out of your... A uh, third card from my left or third card from my right? Third card from your right. Okay. Ah, oh, dang it. I don't know what just happened. Uh... Uh, how do you put cards back like, in your hand? Just drag them down to the bottom of your screen. There we go. Okay. All right. Third from the right. Yeah, just put them back all in there. Yeah, Tabletopia definitely is, uh, takes a little bit of getting used to. Yeah, it's kind of cool, though. All right, but third for my right. Flip these. Okay, so then that'll go. So that just goes in your discard. There. God. Golly, um, he's doing a weird thing where are your cards faced like away from you when you put them back in your hand, so you're seeing the card back. Yeah, I think I'll just flip them on the table. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll just do that. Yeah, and then yeah, just. And then you can drag them back to your hand. Cool. Alright, so discarded that one, draw one. Alright. Cool. Alright, uh, yeah, yeah, they got minus four. And then that is my action. All right, I am going to I'm going to pay up two and I'm going to play a ring to here. And with this card, oh, this card has speed issue. Um, this card has debut KO creature in this field with equal or less power to gain plus one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to KO your latest seer. So that'll go to your discard. And, and uh, I don't see the card that you played. It's this this one. Right underneath where your hand was. Down one, right there. Yeah, uh, like it's face down for me for some reason. Oh. Is it face up for you now? Still face down for some reason. Yeah. How about now? Still, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, airing, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, speed, KO, creature in this field with equal to less power to gain one. 
All right, so getting rid of my illusion. No, uh, lady seer. no, I was gonna get rid of your lady seer actually. Okay. Right. That's it. All right, so that is speed. So now I have to go again. Um. And this is where speed can be a good thing or a, or a bad thing, right? So, like, I yep. have to play have a card it. or I have to pass. Yep. Um, pass for the whole round. So, yeah. yeah, so that would give you the ability to kind of do whatever you want. So I'm actually going to do that just to kind of show, just kind of let you you see how, um, how powerful that can be. So I'm going to go ahead and pass. I'm going to take the initiative token. Um, so now I can't do anything else the rest of this round essentially so you can just play out the rest of your cards as you see fit okay yeah that's the worst when you're just sitting up Right now you've got uh, two, three power. No, two, one, one. I think I have five power total in that field. So I have one from the Ignatian, and then I have five or four from the Erring. So spin one. Okay, very nice. Yeah, so uh, spin one and uh, KO that guy, and it's wild, so I get a VP. Correct. One more action. Okay, uh, so to use the support, that's just at the end of the round, or it's it is resolved at the after you play something. So, um, so if you play a card and it has a debut, you're going to trigger the debut, and then you will use you'll do whatever is on the support. Okay. So I'll spin the one. And then I will. So give an ally plus five power. Mm -hmm. 
this guy. Whoa. Plus five. And then I'll, um, oh. Give an ally plus five after scoring KO that ally. Then discard a random card from your hand. So I don't have to worry about that right now. But I will right. do the support ability. Move a tame ally to give a friendly familiar plus one. Move a tame ally. Give a friendly familiar plus one. Okay, and then I think I'm pretty tapped out. Oh, yep, I think I'm tapped out, so I think I'm done. All right, so you win, pretty sure you win all three fields. Yeah, you do, you win all three fields. So you got four, seven, 12 victory points. 12, 17. Nice. So then uh, you'll KO your adult, and then you'll discard a card at random from your hand. Okay. Uh, what's the easiest way to do that? Just, I mean, just grab a card. I mean, just grab a... Oh, yeah, you can just tell me the number. The card, uh, two from your right, and then put it in your discard. In okay. your hand. Two from right, and then draw one. Okay. All right, so that rounds over, so go ahead and move your familiars back. If they have any negative counters on them, Remove them. If they have any positive, keep them. Man, uh, how do you select multiple cards in Tabletopia? You can uh, shift and then drag. Left click and drag. There we go. Or you can just click. You can also left click on multiple cards individually. Okay. If you do that sometimes at all. Yeah. All right, so I have initiative now. So I'm going to go ahead and. I'm going to go ahead and draw three cards. Draw two. And then I'm going to uh, go ahead and place my chrism here. Infinitor, 
here. Uh, debut. Gain of power. Go ahead and play fair tune here. I will seek one. And y'all just chose to put seek X because other things would modify the X. Correct, right. So if I had more magic um, creatures on the field, then I'd be able to seek. For every one more I would have, I'd be able to seek one more. Okay, magic creatures in this field, okay. But base it's one, okay. All right. Um, and then our illusion will give that guy a minus one. Him over friendly ally in this field. All right. Then oh, we're gonna. Uh, I can't see it, but did you give that guy a minus one counter? The ferritone. I did. Okay. I did. Uh, let me grab a different counter, maybe. My counter's just being weird. Yeah, a little weird. Can you see that one? Yep. Yeah, but it has zero on it, All though. Right. But yeah, I can see it, though. So. I'm trying to see if I want to move this guy right here. Four versus. Is it three. showing? Oh, uh, yeah, it's showing like minus two right now. All right, I'm going to give it plus one then. There. Should be minus one now. Yep, there we go. All right, uh, two, uh, blah, 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 four, blah, 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 four. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, all right, I'm cool. So then we're going to flip the, uh, judges die. Oh, that sucks. Field one is inactive this round. Oh, uh, yeah. I said a move they got. Nice. All right. So then I have initiative, so I'm going to go ahead and play resource. So we are going to spend two. I have two supports I'm using. I'm going to pay. Oh, uh, I didn't. Res the resource step is simultaneous, right? Yep, yep. So go ahead and place uh, a resource as well. And then I'll play Tor 2 here. On his debut, he gains block. Um, and then we're going to resolve my support. So uh, I may give a friendly creature plus one. So I'm going to give the Tor 2 a plus one counter. Yeah, let me. It's doing the weird stuff again where I can't see Tor 2. Okay, there um, we go. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. I can see him now. Once right, you tap them, I can see them. All right, and then it says you may move a friendly creature to an adjacent field. So I'm going to move my fair tune to the adjacent field here. And uh, which one let you do that? The support. The supports. Yep. So the 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 support that's the sylph amulet is the one that 
let me move a friendly creature to an adjacent field. And the strength training is what let me give a friendly creature plus one power. Nice. Okay. All right. And you got... Did you get to ramp on the resource or... No, we both have four resources. Okay. Okay, your discard is bleeding over into your resources, okay. Oh, yeah, here, let me move that over so it's less confusing. Stack over, and then I'll just... There, move that over there. Cool. All right, uh, two left. I will... Seven. In the style is the uh the like wild tame magic. Yeah. Okay. Uh the order of your discard, does that matter? Shouldn't. Now, style isn't the color, right? As well, is it? No, no, no. It's just the the keywords. So, like, tame, magic, brave, wild, golem. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Ooh, 
Okay, spin two. One, two. Um, all right, so move a friendly creature and ignoring guardian, KO the opposing ally with the highest power in the field. Friendly creature. Four illusion. So I, I do want to clarify before you do that that guardian is a different keyword than block. Guardian is a keyword that says that if you would target a creature in this field, you must instead target this creature instead. Okay. Um. Okay. All right, but I'll KO the highest ally, opposing ally, so that'll be for two. So that's gonna get rid of my block. Oh, tour two has block? Yeah, yeah, that's why you're sideways. Yeah, strange thing, it wasn't showing as blocking on my screen. Oh, sorry. That's, I mean, you can undo it. Like, that's why okay. I had mentioned that. Cause like, I didn't, okay. I didn't want you to burn up a card if it was going to get hit with block. Okay. Uh, all right. So this blocked. Um, I keep on messing up the, uh, the, uh, the keys with the TTS keys. But, um, all right, so this one has four, three versus six. All right, so screw that card then. Screw that one. All right, so put this back in hand. Well, you know, it's kind of not bad either. Oh, uh, no, no, it's not this bad. You know, sometimes there's cards that might let you redeploy a familiar, so you could like redeploy your evolution, give him a negative one, which would eat out the block, and then you could play that other card or oh, something. Yeah. Did I move somebody? So, you did. You moved your evolution, I think, right? You moved him from there to here, okay. if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then how did I do that? Oh, no, I forget. Okay, this card went over here for some reason. Whoa. I think you're also looking at the owl. Did you place this owl illusion in your discard or was this in your hand? Oh uh, no, I had five cards in the discard. I had to look through the discard for some discard effects. Oh, okay. All right, so I'll just play this guy here, two, which is the two that I'm spinning here, and that's um. All right, so uh, and that's the speed. Oh, which means I hate playing speed. So screw that. <laughs>
Alright, I'll just do my big deal. Alright, um... All right, just playing this one too. And that's debut, put a tamer card from your discard pile in your hand. You may move a friendly creature of that card style. Okay, I had this all planned out, but maybe. Yeah, all right, so. So, we've only got the one style, I believe. Tame and Aquatic. So, we'll move this card to hand. Hold on. Put a Tamer card. Tamer. Oh, man, I might have done this. Oh, no. These Tamers don't have any styles. misread that one they don't have any styles so I can't do that one yeah if I double check the rules on that one yeah that card might have been styles. yeah cuz do tamers have styles doesn't look like tamers have styles yeah, no, I think that card was actually recently changed. Hang on, let me give me one second. Okay. Oh. Very big. Oh, yes. So you were right originally. So when you grab um, a tamer card of the ferocity like color, you yeah. can then move a ferocity creature. Okay, cool. All right. So in that case, I will go ahead and play that. Friendly creature that cards ferocity. I don't know where this illusion came from. Uh, that illusion is one you were playing, I think, right? Uh, I think yeah, this is not what's letting you put. I think this is the illusion, though, that I'm trying to play. Okay, the the out. I mean, there's a familiar illusion and a tamer illusion. Yep. So the familiar. I think something's getting wonky here, but I don't know. So I think the owl illusion, the ally owl illusion that's below your number seventeen, is the one that you were just playing for two. Yeah. And okay. that's gonna let you pull one of those tamer cards back. Okay, that's what I would... Okay, yeah. All right, so... Guess I'm getting a Tamer card. No. Yeah, Tamer card, so... I got two options, basically. Which is only one option, so... Yeah, so... Move this guy back to hand. 
So I got a purple. I'll get this ferocity right here. Move this over here. And it moved from Guardian for some reason. Uh, yeah, it does that when you move cards. You'll just have to re-put Guardian on them. Okay. Don't think you had any counters on you. Cool. And then, yeah. And that's that two uh, right there. Oh, it still did. Be and then you... Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. So, just want to kind of point out a special rule that you have on your Owl Illusion Familiar really quick, since I have something in my hand that kind of pertains to it. So, it has a special rule, you ignore the unique rule. which You may only have one creature on your side with the same name, name that's a, like an ally. So, like, this Tortu here is the same as this Tortu here. So, like, I can't play both of them unless I have Owl Illusion. So, and it isn't like in Magic where if you have, like, the Legend rule and you, like, played another one, like, you kill one. It's just you just can't play it. Um... I just wanted to point that out. Okay, nice. So I'm going to go ahead and pay two. I'm going to place the Pekera here. And that has an ongoing that opposing ally cards cost one more resource to play in this field. Oh, uh, nice, 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 nice. And I did use the support that said I may give this card speed, but I don't want to, so I'm not going to. Okay. And you're tapped out on your side, right? I am. Yep. You, and you can physically see where you're tapped out, right? Yes. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, uh, yours are, you have two untapped on my side, until now. Yeah, strange. let me... Let me move these down. Maybe let me do it this way. Maybe it's well. Um, I can see them now. Like once you once you kind of moved them a little bit more, I can see them. But yeah, weird. All right, so I got two up. So I will. And you can flip your inspiration card even if it is tapped. Okay. So I got two to spend. I can't play an ally. Alright, so I'll spin one. You know, Fury Potion, give an ally plus five after scoring KO it, then discard a random card from your hand and draw one. Give an ally plus five. Uh, so if you did something with the guardian one and then you pop the guardian would it retain the five counter um n no because that isn't an opposing effect like you're putting fury potion on your own creature mm -hmm. so it's not going to stop it um so no it it would blow it up so, like, if you hit something with this Guardian guy, then the plus five would go away. No, 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 the, the I'm misunderstanding your question. So, the, he's going to retain Guardian um, until I 
give him a negative, like an opposing effect. Yo. But he is going to keep that plus five unless I am capable of like KOing him. Yo. But he will KO at the end of the round. Okay. All right, and then it's my turn. Yep. Yes. Goodness. Um. I don't think I have a way to win this. No, I don't. I mean, because if I move my... I think it's it's over for me. I don't have a way, because I mean I could move my chrism, but then you could just move another card over into that field, and then you'd win that field. So uh, I think it's over. I'm gonna pass. Okay, and then uh, even if I pass, could I do the support after that or? You well, if I pass, then you can. It's your turn, so you can do another thing. So. Okay. Yep. I. Uh, I don't have any more team. All right. So as long as I pass, pass, I think I'm good. All right. So I'll just pass it. All right. So yeah, you get three points. Um. Oh, you go to screw twenty. That, screw that. Screw that. Okay. I gotta do this inspiration one time. All right. You could have did that too, right? No, oh, man. Yeah, I could have. I was go like. Okay. So here's what I could have done to maybe make it different like I could have flip my inspiration I could have moved my chrism here okay that would have given me what this is nine more power here so uh, 13 uh, 19 20 two. So I'd had 22 power in this field, but then you could have just flipped your inspiration and moved your evolution over to here, and you would have won this field. So that's why I was saying, like, there's just no... Can fields only contain four creatures? They can, yep. And some cards, like Giant Growth, can lower that even more. Okay. Ah, using a classic name. Any familiar has plus six. The opponents have minus one space in the field. Nice. Yeah. 